Well, we're seeing a lot of those calm conditions. Again, similar all week long, but believe it or not, we're about six days without any rain or any moisture. Really seeing a lot of those freezing temperatures in the morning, but this heat dome, or at least that high pressure as a result of El Nino, still sticking around, and it's going to be here until about the spring. Watching those temperatures with that winter uh, influence right now, seeing us go from those lower 50s down again, dealing with those 30s back and forth into those lower 20s. Then we see that quick jump up into those 50s, and again, cooling off just as quickly tonight as we push our way back down below that freezing mark. Right now, 57 in San Angelo. Everybody is joining us in a good combination of 60s and 50s. Pretty uneven cooling going on right now. That's because we're starting to see waves of that southwesterly flow push through this moisture definitely trying to return to the Concho Valley but having a hard time with this stubborn system hanging over the Midwest right now 57 in San Angelo again 52 in Sterling City and 60 in Junction that's about a good eight degree difference across the entire Concho Valley whereas a couple days ago we were only about two degrees across the entire area now this high pressure is going to continue to push off and kind of deal with this uneven cooling and heating as we continue to see a lot of this moisture fighting back and forth the upper level pattern giving us quite a bit of difficulty right now which is shaping up for a pretty interesting winter right now we're seeing those dew points hang out below that freezing mark believe it or not and while those relative humidity indices kind of double as we make our way into those overnight hours but again seeing those frostier conditions in the morning where we could see more cold weather on its way a little later in 2024 right now we're just keeping a good eye on this moisture really making its way across the mississippi river valley as we continue to see a lot of this cold weather hang out over texas off the west coast, they're finally starting to see that storm really push its way on shore. Again, it's being held off by this system hanging out over the Midwest. We're going to continue to watch it slowly make its way off the east coast as we continue to see some of this ridging push in. Now, this strong northwesterly flow is really going to help this high pressure continue to build as we see more strong troughing making its way off the west coast. You see this ridging push all the way up from the Concho Valley all the way back up into Montana and Idaho. And we saw that again all summer. We saw this into the fall and we're still seeing this pattern now as we continue to see about six days without any moisture and we don't see any in the foreseeable future, believe it or not. We're still watching the system circulate over this area, dumping lots of snow, rain, slush, ice mix, and as far as it wears out as it makes its way across Kansas, Oklahoma, it turns just into the cold air. Now we're watching this frontal system really be held off across the Rocky Mountains. That's because we're seeing a lot of opposing wind flow across the Rocky Mountain Front Range. But you can see this storm constantly building off the West Coast. We're watching other meteorologists talk about what they're starting to see as a result of this, where it could usher in some warmer temperatures right in behind it, believe it or not. Over the next couple days, we're just going to continue to see nothing but clear skies. Makes it pretty easy around here in the Storm Team Weather Center, but it's also very concerning because we're still seeing a lot of those dry conditions, even though we are out of that drought. We hope that we see a lot more moisture return as a result of these dry temperatures. Now, as we make our way into tonight, we're still going to be dealing with these freezing temperatures as we drop back down below into those 30s, if not a couple degrees cooler. Still seeing those calm winds out of the north keep things cold. Then tomorrow, we're us again another copy paste day where we could push up into those lower 60s where we could start to see some prefrontal warming make its way into here by New Year's where we start to push our way back up into believe it or not those upper 60s finally a good break from some of those cold weather but just as quickly as it shows up it pushes out of the way as we begin 2024 we're back down into those 50s still dealing with those freezing temperatures but we could see a little bit of cloud cover return and that could be a signal of a storm on its way stay tuned we'll have more for the break you're watching KSAN News at 5.